Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very interesting and challenging question from Quartic Equations. So let's get started by writing here if we will add 10 and 40 we will get 50 and if we will add 20 and 30 we will get 50. So I will consider the product of these two brackets all together and then we will consider product of these two brackets. Let me write here x plus 10 times x plus 40 times x plus 20 times x plus 30 equal to 201. Now we are going to multiply these two brackets first. Let me write here x times x, x square plus x times 40, 40x plus 10 times x, 10x. 40x and 10x will give us 50x. 10 times 40 is 400. Now we have to multiply these two. We will write x times x, x square, x times 30 is 30x, 20 times x is 20x, 30x plus 20x, 50x, 20 times 30 is 600, RHS is 201. Now we are going to split 400 and split 600. So 400 we are going to write 500 minus 100. And 600 will be writing 500 plus 100. So we can write here x square plus 50x plus 500 minus 100. In second bracket, we will write x square plus 50x plus 500 plus 100 will be equal to. 201. Now if I will consider x square plus 50x plus 500 equal to a and 100 equal to b then first bracket is a minus b. Similarly we will write our second bracket as a plus b. So I can write here a plus b which is one algebraic identity difference of two squares a square minus b square so we'll write x square plus 50x plus 500 whole square minus 100 whole square equal to 201 let me write here x square plus 50x plus 500 whole square minus 100 whole square is equal to 201. Now we will add 100 square to both sides. 100 square, 100 square. So plus and minus 100 square will be cancelled out from left hand side. We will get x square plus 50x plus 500 whole square in LHS. RHS would be 201 plus 100 square we will write 10,000. Now we have to add these two numbers we will get 10,201 which is the square of 101 or 101. Now I can write here x square plus 50x plus 500 whole square will be equal to 101 whole square. Now we will take a square root both sides. x square plus 50x plus 500. This will be equal to plus and minus 101. Now we can frame two equations. So we will write our first equation x square plus 50x plus 500 this will be equal to plus 101 or 101 now we will take all the terms to left hand side and write x square plus 50x plus 500 
minus 101 equal to 0. Or we can write quadratic equation in x, x square plus 50x, 500 minus 101 will give us 399 equal to 0. Now we are going to use quadratic formula. If I will write here, x will be equal to minus b plus minus a square root of b square minus 4 times a c over 2 times a. As per our equation, we will write values of a, b and c, a equal to 1, b equal to coefficient of x 50, c is constant 399. Now we have to plug in all the values to get the value of x. So minus b minus 50 plus minus a square root of b square. We will write 50 square minus 4 times 1 times 399. Denominator will be 2 times 1, 2. So this will be equal to minus 50 plus minus a square root of 50 square is 2500 minus 4 times 399. This is 1596. Denominator is 2. So if we will subtract 1596 from 2500, we will write minus 50 plus minus a square root of 904 over 2. Now we have to factor 904. Let me write x equal to minus 50 plus minus a square root of 904. We will write 4 times 226 over 2. Now this 4 will come out from this square root as 2. So we will write minus 50 plus minus 2 times square root of 2 to 6 over 2. So we are getting first two real solutions minus 25 which is minus 50 over 2 plus minus square root of 226. So here we have first two real solutions. Now we have to solve second quadratic equation x square plus 50x plus 500 equal to minus 101. We will take all the terms to LHS and write x square plus 50x plus 500 plus 101 equal to 0 or x square plus 50x plus 601 equal to 0. Again we are going to use quadratic formula with a 1, b 50, c 601. Let's apply all the values in our quadratic formula. We will get x equal to minus 50 which is minus b plus minus a square root of b square we will write minus 50 it is plus 50 whole square minus 4 times 1 times c is 601 over 2 times a which is 2 times 1 so value will be 2. This value will be equal to minus 50 plus minus a square root of 50 square is 2500 minus 4 times 601. We will write here 2404 over 2. Now if we will subtract 2404 from 2500, we will get plus minus a square root of 96 over 2. So I can write minus 50 plus minus 96 is 16 times 6. So we can write 4 root 6 directly over 2. Now we have to divide our numerator by denominator 2. We will get minus 25 plus minus 2 square root 6. So we have 4 real 
irrational roots of this quartic equation. Let me write here x will be equal to minus 25 plus minus square root of 226 root number 1 and root number 2 and if I will write root number 3 and root number 4 then we have to write here minus 25 plus minus 2 square root 6. So here we have all four real solutions of this quartic equation. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.